Hi, my name is Britton. You may know me as Britton Designs on Instagram and TikTok. And today I'm going to take you on our apartment tour. Come on in. So the first thing you see when you walk in our home is the saltwater reef tank. This hobby is definitely not for the weak. My husband spends a lot of time taking care of all of the fishes inside of the tank as well as keeping everything alive in here. So it sort of mimics like an ocean in our home. We have three fish in here currently, Crown, Nemo, and Kombucha. Kombucha got her name because she looks just like a kombucha bottle, one of our favorite kombuchas. But yeah, I really love that this is like a talking point. It's very peaceful. A lot of people would say that like fish tanks are outdated now, but I would say like freshwater tanks can really like make or break the space. But salt water reef tanks are very classic and unique and just a great overall conversation starter for our home. And then right across from the fish tank, we have these two bar stools. So I didn't want anything super bulky because this is a walkway for us. Um, so I got these two stools, super minimal. They serve their purpose, although we actually eat over in the living room most of the time. But this is the perfect place for guests to stop and look at the tank. And then it just comes in handy to have something super minimal here. These are actually from Ikea and they were actually really affordable as well. Transitioning over into our kitchen area. So I love this island, you guys. I am big on cooking, so I cook a lot. And I knew in our next apartment, I wanted a space to be able to spread out and cook because I make a super huge mess when I cook. Um, so I love that this space comes with a huge island. Um, and then right under the island, we have Sarah's bowls for her food. So what I did was I actually purchased these from CB2. So typically we all know that pet bowls are not aesthetic at all. So looking at like a place like CB2 or Crate and Barrel in the snack bowl section, you can actually find some pretty affordable like snack bowls and that'll take the place of pet bowls and it'll help your space feel and look a little bit more luxurious. I love that these have like a marble base so it makes it super easy for us to lift up and feed Zara. Zara is our cat, by the way. You'll probably see her during this tour. And then moving on into our kitchen area. Really not tons to see here because I like to keep the kitchen pretty clutter free, but I'll just walk you through some of what's on top of our kitchen countertops. So on the counters, we have a little personal touch. This is actually a photo of our engagement shoot. My husband and I got married in 2018, so we'll be married for five years this year in October. Wanted to kind of add a little touch in the kitchen here, but obviously not too much on the counters. Our Google, honestly, I don't know what we would do without her, and I don't know what we did before her because we use Google every single day, literally for everything. I also love to use Google for worship music while I'm in the kitchen cooking or cleaning, um, very peaceful. And then I also have these lamps here. These are actually $5 lamps from Ikea. Ikea has some really good lighting, you guys. Ikea has a lot of good stuff, okay? Don't sleep on Ikea. These are like $5, super cheap and like flimsy, but I didn't really want anything like super expensive in the kitchen because I feel like it's just gonna get splattered on anyway. Um, and I just use it for the lighting. I really like warm lighting versus like the cool lighting that the counters give off. It's nice, but it just doesn't really set the mood as much as I'd like, so. And then moving on over here, I have this kettle. This is from Amazon. All of the items in this apartment tour will be linked in the description. And then that frame over there is from World Market. I forgot to mention that. I love to use this for mop water, cooking, matchas. Listen, this thing has really come in handy in the kitchen, so that's why I keep it on the countertop. Another Ikea lamp. Moving over to this side, I usually keep all of my utensils here, so I cook with a lot of, mostly all of these here. A lot of these are from Amazon. They kind of wear in over time. This canister here is from Crate and Barrel. 
Um, this holds butter. I think it's super cute. I currently don't have any butter in here right now, but sometimes I'll keep butter in here and I love like room temperature butter on bread and it just makes things a lot more easier when cooking. Um, this is from Crate and Barrel. Um, this canister and this cutting board was a gift from my best friend for my birthday. She made me a charcuterie board and so I got to keep the board, of course. This cutting board back here was also a gift, so I just kind of have all of my little gifts displayed here. My husband actually got me these cheese knives as well from West Elm. And then this vessel here, it's like a little smaller one. It has like, kind of looks like marble, but it's not. I think it's like a stone. This was thrifted. And then these flowers inside of this vessel are from Trader Joe's and then they just kind of dry over time and I like to keep dried flowers because it just looks pretty. And then I have some sea salt in here, easy access while I'm cooking as well. In this corner, not much to see. We haven't went grocery shopping this week yet, but typically this bowl is full of fruit. And then I just have like some cookbooks stacked here. This is also typically full of fruit, normally like bananas and my husband actually got this from south africa the last time that he went some little picture memories on our fridge this is a picture of my husband at our wedding this is another picture of our engagement shoot wedding day and then this is actually the night that we got engaged i just printed these out in black and white and added them i wanted to add a little personal touch to our home. This magnet is from Antalya. I think we went in 2019, I believe, 2019 or 2020. It's been some time now, but Antalya, Turkey was super beautiful. So this is like our little keepsake. It's one of our favorite places actually for the views and the ocean and the mountains. And then we just have this handy here for like opening my husband's ginger beers. Oh, and also before I forget, I've been working on my glassware collection so i have a few up top that are from wayfair these are like some acrylic ones i have a lot actually from wayfair up there these are also from wayfair as well they came in a pack of four i usually hand dry those so that's why the water marks are there but um these are also from um crate and barrel um, love these they're actually some of my favorites just because they're like an average glass size these are from a store i can't remember the exact store but they're called hawkins new york and this was from a place online i can link it if anyone's interested in this mug i usually get a lot of questions on it whenever i post it on instagram and then these ones are also pretty unique good for like um, yogurt in the mornings and also, I do have one more left of this one hanging in there. Um, the other one actually broke. These are from Crate and Barrel. And then these tortoise glasses are some of my absolute fave because they're so thick. These are from World Market. Um, and then these are just like some average mugs, I believe, from like Target. But yeah, finally growing my collection. So I'm super proud of that. <laughs> And then coming around into the living room, the first thing that I get asked so many questions about is this sofa. So this is the Logan Gray Boucle sofa from CB2. So funny thing, I actually purchased this sofa in 2020 and as soon as I purchased it, it was discontinued. So all of the questions that I get about it, unfortunately, it's hard to find. But I love this sofa. It has like super, super deep seating and I am 5'2", but I can sit all the way back and my feet don't touch the ground. This is probably like a twin size bed. Um, it looks smaller on camera than it actually is in person. I love it though. This is like definitely the focal point of our living room. And I got it before Boucle was super trendy, but now that Boucle is like a trendy thing, I feel like this is still a very timeless piece. The fabric I also love because it is performance fabric. So I get makeup like all over this sofa, you guys, but 
it doesn't matter because it's performance and it comes out good and then the rug here is actually from revival so they sell a lot of like organic and like wool rugs a lot of them are like turkish from turkey i love this one to kind of like bring out the ivory in the place i actually just switched it out from a darker one for the fall so now that we're in like spring and summer i wanted something that was a little bit more cozy and plush and i just love how it ties all together and then also one of the pieces that i love so so much in our home is this abstract piece from great big canvas shout out jimmy if you're watching this because that has been my guy at great big canvas um i have partnered with them for a couple of years now and um I'm grateful that this was like my first introduction to um, content creation. I posted this online and um, someone from Great Big Canvas, well, Jimmy from Great Big Canvas reached out to me. And ever since then we've been in partnership. So um, this was one of my first big purchases for this apartment. And I'm proud to say that all of my other canvases are also Great Big Canvas in my home, um, comes with a super nice frame that's the thing when you're sourcing like canvases sometimes it's hard to find like super big art with the frame already attached um so that's what i love about great big canvas and i feel like this piece kind of just ties everything together super timeless and adds some character to our home moving on to some of my newest additions so i'm definitely not a plant girly um, so Easy Plant actually sent me over some plants and we're gonna see if they're easy. So far so good though. Right here I have these task lamps. So I have two of them, one right here and then one on the other side. I love that these are dimmable so they can brighten and then they also dim down. They turn around, they twist up, um, pretty much like whatever you need for the space as far as lighting. These are super clutch. These are from Amazon and I believe the price point is around $50 each, which I think is pretty affordable for a floor lamp and something that you're going to get tons of use out of. I think I've had these for like three years now and they still work perfectly. So here we have an accent chair. I used to actually have two of these. This was a gift from Rooms to Go, I believe like a Christmas gift like several, several years ago from my parents. She has really been very loved on by our dear cat Zara. So if you see that, that is why she's a little um, frayed on the sides. We've gotten some good use out of this accent chair. I used to have two of them but had to get rid of one of them just to make space. But I love these like winged style chairs, very mid-century modern, a little 1950s style going on here. I actually don't know where this pillow is from. I literally have no idea. I don't even remember purchasing this pillow. So there's that, but it adds some fun texture to the corner. Another one of my easy plants is over in this corner. So she is a prayer plant and at first i thought that she was withered and lifeless and dead but it turns out that they just move a lot and she's not in fact dead so she's just sleeping right now but she is alive right here i just have some magazines these are if you want to call them um, vintage ebony magazines these were passed down from my great grandmother and it's funny because you can see the date on here on this one is July 1980. So if you're watching this, a lot of us probably weren't even born, but 1980. And it's cool to look through these because you'll see like the ads back then, a lot of black culture, obviously ebony inside of these magazines here. And I just love that I get to keep something like this because I've always loved to collect magazines. I'll show you guys here in a second over here, but it's just funny like you just never know like kind of what gets passed down but i actually love to collect magazines as well so this is definitely going to get some good use in our home and it kind of just sits right here on top of this speaker this is our aroma tech this was actually gifted as well so if you're familiar with like hotels, hotel lobby scents, and when you walk in, it smells like super, super fresh and really good. Most of them use what's called air diffusers. And it's different from water diffusers because 
it's like air and obviously like the oils these aren't harmful so you don't have to worry about them killing the plants or being super bad for like asthma or allergies so we love this the scent that i'm using right now is actually the white tea for the aromatech um i love 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 this scent so if you want a good scent that smells airy but not too perfumey, white tea is your best friend. This poof is from CB2. I actually found this though at a Crate and Barrel outlet in Dallas for like half off. Just love the texture that it adds really for no reason at all. Also, when you have a low profile sofa like ours, you do tend to need like some way to kick your feet up. So this is from the Crate and Bear outlet, but it's actually originally from CB2. This was a Facebook marketplace find. Again, adding some texture and some warmth into the space. And then on this back window seal here, I just kind of placed some things to style the window seal. We took off the blinds. I guess just for like a cleaner look we've never been like a fan of blinds we're renting this place obviously it's an apartment so this isn't like the perfect setup for the window but it definitely makes the space feel a lot more cleaner and then i just have my essential oils aroma oil blends over here in this corner and then this vessel is thrifted these are from trader joe's and this acrylic magazine holder is from Amazon. Again, with the magazine collecting, I typically like to collect more like interior design um, magazines for no particular reason at all, besides the fact that they're pretty and they're fun to look at. So I guess I got that from my Nana because she loved collecting magazines as well. This lamp is actually from Blue Dot. I have some friends over at Blue Dot that sent this over to me and I love Blue Dot. If you're not familiar, you should check it out and I'll, I'll link this filter lamp in the description if you're interested. It comes in a ton of colors. Also can't forget this tree, which is also from Easy Plant. So shout out Easy Plant for sending me so many live plants now and we love that for me. Okay, this is our air purifier. I love it because it looks cool but we definitely need it we have a cat so i like to keep the air clean and we definitely have like allergies and things and so this helps the space and the air feel really clean This is the famous Ikea mirror, nothing special over here, but if you're watching this and you don't have this mirror, don't get it in silver. They now have it in black and black just looks so much better, so much more high end. So over here I have just like some little um, keepsakes. This is from a documentary that my husband was in. This is an interior design book from Amazon. This light is also from Amazon. This vessel is thrifted and we have again, some dried Trader Joe's flowers inside. And this coffee table book is actually gifted from Blue Dot. This media console is from Wayfair. Didn't come with the space, but I do love it because we can add some storage. Um, we have, I believe this is like a 75 inch TV. And then we have the sound bar here. And then this basket is like over filled with plush blankets. Um, this blanket is actually from a friend of mine, Martha. Shout out Martha, she just got married, but she got me this as a birthday gift, I believe. And this is from Amazon, super soft. A lot of these are from like Target, just really anywhere I can find them. This basket's a little beat up. It does hold like 10 pounds of blankets, so I don't blame it. This basket can be used for like a cute, like I've seen it as like a tree planter as well. I believe it's from either CB2 or Crate and Barrel, but I will link that down below. 
this coffee table just type in like glass water waterfall coffee table and you'll find these so many places target overstock wayfair it's like mass produced with so many different vendors but it's a low profile table and what i like about it is um, it doesn't take up as much space because it is glass so i knew i wanted something that would like open up our living room and then on top of our coffee table we just have like our airpod cases and some coasters that I keep handy for around the house since we do have a lot of like glass surfaces and like over there in that corner sometimes I'll use that obviously don't want to mark up the magazines and things so coasters are really cool and then these are actually from Cape Town so fun fact is these coasters are from Africa so love that we have little touches of travel in our home and just little keepsakes from um, for memories these coasters i believe are from home goods and then this tray is from cb2 and then we do have such a cute little setup here on our little patio this rug is from um, all modern everything out here is actually from all modern i did a, a campaign a summer campaign with them and so they gifted me these items I love this chair, these chairs, they have this like acrylic amber backing. I think it's super unique. Our setup at first was like the typical like low profile, two chairs, one little side table out here, but this is like so much more practical. Oh my gosh, like eating and working out here. Um, it definitely serves as like another working space for us now that it's summertime and the weather's pretty nice um but yeah and then i love the view of like the curtains out here it's just it's really really cozy all of these items will be linked and then this little centerpiece here is from world market and then i just added in um some dried baby's breath um and that is from trader joe's now we're entering the bedroom <laughs> Give us if the lighting kind of alters a little bit we did film this in the evening um, but the bedroom looks so glowy and dreamy in the evening another great big canvas this time with their natural frame love the statement of this in the bedroom um, i recently just did a bedroom refresh if you do follow me on instagram and tiktok you probably have already seen that all of the bedding on my bed right now is from amazon and i'll have it linked down below you can find some really affordable duvets and throw covers and pillow covers one really fun hack is to stuff the pillow covers a size up from the insert and then you have really plush pillows the rug is from overstock i got it in the color bone i love that it's like an ivory the bedding is white with a super plush like oh my gosh you guys this rug literally feels like a cloud luckily it doesn't get a lot of traffic otherwise i'd be concerned about the amount of dirt <laughs> yeah i'd never have anything like this in the living room but i love it for the bedroom super cozy and then on the bed here obviously want it to contrast with some um, browns and blacks and just really add some warmth to the space these nightstands are from wayfair and starting on this side this statement lamp i love 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 these lamps um, both of these lamps are from crate and barrel and i just love how much of a glow in the evening time it helps the space feel really warm and inviting and then another little personal touch um, my husband picked this photo for his side and this is just right after we left the altar and got married i think this is just a cute little um, added touch to his side of the bed moving on to this corner here this mirror is from wayfair it comes in a ton of different sizes i love it it's super sturdy i know they say you're not supposed to have your your mirrors in front of your bed but i don't go by that in jesus name um so this corner here is super cozy and then i i had these i've had these for a while now and 
I kind of hate it when they became super trendy, but I still do source a lot of them, ironically, for my clients because a lot of my clients love them. But these are the UVA or UVA stalks from CB2. Super tall if you're looking for like a statement. I think they're close to like discontinuing them now, but they also come in like a really pretty chocolate brown. But yeah, I was kind of tired of it, so I took it from out of the living room and just placed it behind um, the mirror here, and I think it just adds some really cool texture. These curtains are actually from Ikea. I added some little hooks or some little, um, yeah, some little rings, curtain rings to them, and that's from Amazon. Um, but the curtain rod and the curtains are from both from Ikea. The ceilings in our apartment aren't super, super tall, so ikea curtains do work and if your ceilings are super tall though um, i would recommend amazon um, I, I source a lot of amazing curtains on amazon as well and then moving on to this side of the bed um, i forgot to mention both of these picture frames are from world market world market has some really cool stuff you guys you should check it out if you have one near you and then another lamp here and then this mirror just to add some warmth and something cool to the space is from amazon and now moving on to our bathroom there's really not a ton to see in the bathroom but I'll give you a quick little tour. So on my side of the sink, I have just a little like soap dispenser. I got this from World Market. I also got these from World Market as well. This um, soap holder is also from World Market. Um, and this marble tray is from World Market. Everything pretty much in the bathroom is World Market. I did like a one stop and we were done with the bathroom. <laughs> And then hanging up in the shower there, I just have like some cute little dispensers that I bought off Amazon. Um, we have like some shower, little shower fizzer. I don't even know what these are. These are from World Market and they looked pretty. Um, and then on my husband's side, it's pretty simple. He just has his little soap dispenser. And this is the bathroom from this angle. We keep all of like our towels and things in here i won't go in there it's boring and then um dirty laundry at the bottom there now we'll move on to the second bedroom okay so i'll be honest um this is probably not my favorite room in our apartment but i will show you guys um, on my desk, my actual desk and desk chair are both from Amazon. The desk mat is from Amazon. This is actually a candle holder. Shout out Story if you're watching this from Blue Dot. This was gifted and I really appreciate um, Story taking the time out to notice that I was interested in this when I came to the showroom. I love Blue Dot. If you haven't been to the Blue Dot showroom in dallas definitely check it out the furniture pieces are actually pretty affordable so i just have some vases here this one is thrifted um, this one is also thrifted and the flowers again are dried flowers from trader joe's more magazines here of course i just find myself not being able to turn them down or get rid of them every time i get sent them in the mail i always collect them this planner here is an interior design planner that I was gifted from a creator. I will tag her information in the description down below. This is from Target. A lot of these little like fun accessories are from Target. These scissors are from Target. And this canister, the pencil holder is from CB2. This lamp is one of my favorite office purchases. It's from West Elm and the desk pad is from Amazon. I was gifted this keyboard and mouse from Logitech when I did a campaign with them. And this marble canister under here is from CB2. It actually came with the pair that is on my coffee table. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the desk. And then again, of course, we have great big canvas canvases up top here. And I just love how they kind of like tie in the space something super simple but adds a little touch of a little bit of a lived-in feel 
Um, so I'll link these down below in case you guys are interested as well. And then moving on to this little corner here. Um, this is Zara's bed. It's super plush and fluffy. She doesn't sleep in it though. I thought she would love it. She did love it like two weeks after we got it and then she just never touched it ever again. I don't know. Maybe something turned her off about it. And then my husband just has like a few like workout things that he keeps in here. Again, not the prettiest setup, you guys, but it's practical. This is actually a lamp post that I got from Goodwill for like $7 beautiful um, i love the detailing on it and then what i did was i just purchased a lampshade from amazon to place on top of here and i cut the cord because it didn't work anyway it's like such a unique piece i feel like this particular room probably doesn't do it justice but i love it in here as like a little statement for now and then over here in this corner we have what's called a quarantine tank so if you are a reefer, you know about this, but those of you who don't, um, basically it's similar to what we had to do in 2020 is what little fishies do before they go to the promised land out there, to the big, the big boy tank. This is from um, Amazon and this is Zara Scratching Post. She's had this for like a couple of years now and she loves it. I want to get her like a bigger cat tree, but... We just don't really have a lot of space, so I think for now, this is good. But when we do move into our home, um, I will definitely be buying her a cat tree so that she can go crazy. And lastly, we just have this cowhide. I like that this is like a layer of texture without having to commit to a full on rug. <laughs> couple of little accessories in our guest bathroom um i love this lamp this is from ikea um and then this vase here is thrifted again with the dried flowers from trader joe's dried and they look pretty and so i keep them here sometimes i do change out to fresh flowers but to be honest not that often um i normally just keep a lot of dried flowers in until i get tired of looking at them and then i'll like freshen it out like probably like every three months or so and these floating shelves are from Amazon. This candle, I believe, is from Home Goods a long time ago. I don't really burn candles anymore. Um, they're really not good for you. If you look it up, they have a lot of toxins in them. They're not really good for pets either. But yeah, so I use the oil diffuser um, that I showed you guys earlier from Aromatech um instead of like a candle i think that's like my version of like candle since it still makes your home smell good but it's not as toxic and then these little marble brushes are from crate and barrel outlet my mom told me that these look like like what barbers use but i don't know they just look like brushes to me but we're gonna go with what my mom said but yeah they're just decor um they're super heavy who knows what they were going for when they created these but i think they make a cute bathroom accessory um, and i was eyeing them for a while so when they went on sale at the outlet i was like i gotta get them and then up there this is honestly just staged um this is soap from crate and barrel outlet again they have like little bathroom accessories and things so i just grabbed a few things one day and i've just never changed this out i think it's just pretty standard and it works and then this diffuser was from is from amazon i haven't refilled that oil here i just have some i have a canister here and it's a glass canister from cb2 i usually keep napkins in here but i need to restock and then i have some lotion for the guest and then i have some um hand wash here and this stone is from cb2 i believe or crate and barrel one of those um it's actually a cheese board i believe but i'm using it in the bathroom because why not um it just adds a little bit of texture but one of the things i've learned since styling like guest bathrooms and things like that is like styling with intention um so for example like when guests come over, I stock the cabinets with everything that they need, different soaps, razors, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, you just really want people when they come to your home and your space to feel like they have everything they need, especially if it's a guest bathroom. 
you don't want them to have to ask you for things so I try to just make sure that everything in here is super clean, neat, and put away. Some guest towels here for when guests sleep over. Um, these are super plush towels. These were gifted from Brook Linen. And I believe this basket is either from Target or Walmart. I believe it's from Walmart. And then this is also thrifted from Goodwill. Fun fact, my best friend and I went compass picking whenever the peak compass broke out. This was like back in 2020. There was like a road. We used to call it Pumpus Lane because it was just full of pumpus. And one day we just went out there in like all black and trash bags and like went crazy with pumpus. So I have like so much pumpus. This is when it was like super trendy. But yeah, so this is actually real pumpus, you guys. And here, these rocks are actually from turkey um from when we went to antalya and we were on the beach and they have like so many like unique rocks and things like it was so beautiful and so my husband and i like we picked out our favorite ones and then we like stuffed our suitcase with all of these rocks from the beach um there's like cute little like seashells and it's just such a fun memory because we were literally just laying on the beach it was like january super cold um and we're laying on the beach in our boots and our jackets and we're just like looking at the mountains and the water it's so beautiful if i have a clip i'll insert it yeah we're just um this is a great memory and i love to incorporate things like that in our home so i usually fold this shower curtain up top here because number one shower curtains are disgusting and they give me the ick but secondly zara loves to chew on this on these like shower liners so out of respect for our guests each time a new guest comes over i do like replace this with a fresh one fun fact you can actually wash these and i have before but i feel like why not buy them they're like five dollars the scum and like the dirt of like the last person that showered you know so try to change that out for your guests if you can and i keep this kind of just up here all the time again neat clean bathrooms are disgusting so we want them to be like practical and clean and simple and there we have it that is the full apartment tour but there's tons more to look forward to so if you're interested in interior styling i am actually a professional interior stylist here local in the dallas area and my husband and i my team and i we travel all across the u.s so if you're interested in seeing more behind the scenes and what that looks like, typical day in the life of an interior stylist, um, maybe even some different uh, strategies and you know tips that I've kind of picked up the last few years growing my platforms on Instagram and TikTok, this is definitely going to be a great home for you. So if you would like to join the family here, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and also comment down below let me know what you think about this apartment tour and what else you look forward to seeing on this channel and i'll see you guys in my next youtube video Bye.